of Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, and we would be even happier if we could see and do everything we wanted to do while in the park. So making the most of the day takes a little time, a little thought, but it's so worth it. Living in SoCal, we've been fortunate enough to visit Disneyland many times before, so we've learned how to maneuver our way most efficiently. So here are 20 tips for making the most out of your day at Disneyland. If possible, try to pick a day that is least busy. Try using one of the crowd forecasting websites such as Mickey Visit, Is It Packed, and Undercover Tourist. If there are specific restaurants that you'd like to eat at, make sure you make a reservation if it's allowed. You can make reservations at Blue Bayou, Cafe Orleans, or Carnation Cafe up to six months in advance. Did you know that you can bring lunch, water, and snacks into the park? Food in the park can be quite expensive. Plus, think of all the long lines you'll have to wait in to get food, which is valuable time. When arriving, it's very exciting, but don't forget where you park. Take a photo or note the section on the parking card they provide. Be aware of prohibited items to prevent security delays. Items such as selfie sticks, glass, or knives are not allowed. Keep in mind it takes about 30 minutes to park, go through security check, and take the tram to the park entrance. Your ticket is very important even once you get into the park, so don't lose it. In fact, you might want to take a picture of it as soon as you get it, but if you happen to lose it, guest relations should probably be able to replace it. If you're staying at one of the three Disneyland Resort hotels or a Disney approved hotel, take advantage of Magic Hour where you can get into the park one hour before the public. Lockers are available for a full day rental with in and out privileges. Store food, sweaters, and other items you don't need with you all day. This is an important one. Download the Disneyland mobile app for wait times and ride closures. This can help you decide where to go next. Opting to be a single rider can save time waiting in line. However, the only rides that offer this are Indiana Jones, Matterhorn, Space Mountain, and Splash Mountain. Why waste precious time waiting in line waiting for a ride or a show when you could get a fast pass? Fast passes are basically ride or show reservations for a predetermined one hour window of time. Sometimes the fast pass window is shorter for shows. Fast passes are free to anyone but only available for select rides. They are distributed at the entrance of the ride, but you can only get one fast pass at a time. You must use your admission ticket in order to get the fast pass, so don't lose your ticket. Refer to your fast pass ticket to know when you can book your next one. Or you can get a max pass using the Disneyland mobile app. Most of the same rules apply, except you save the time from having to go to each ride to get a physical pass, and you can change reservation times as your plans change. But this convenience is going to cost you $10 per day per person. Lastly, they don't track distribution between Disneyland and California Adventure. This allows you to make reservations at both Disneyland and California Adventure within the same day if you have a park hopper ticket. Popular rides distribute fast passes at a faster rate. Hot ticket rides like Space Mountain run out of return time slots quickly, so be sure to hit those up before you lose your chance. Certain rides, attractions, and areas close prior to parades and shows. It also becomes a traffic jam trying to get around, so keep that in mind as you plan out your day. Here's a good tip. Any food vendor at the park will give you free water, so now you have no excuse to get dehydrated. Disneyland is a genius. The mobile app allows you to place food orders ahead of time for pickup at 15 quick service locations. You can customize orders and prepay, so you can spend more time doing whatever your heart desires. If you enjoy a formal dining experience but don't necessarily enjoy the crowds, opt to eat during off-peak hours. Or if you just need something to refuel so you can keep moving at full steam ahead, you can always eat on the run. Who doesn't love water rides, right? Well, you could potentially get drenched on some of those rides, and if it's cold or if you're wearing white, it's probably not ideal. So wear some water-resistant clothing, such as an anorak or poncho. Rides will typically run until everyone in line gets on, even after the park officially closes. So make sure to get in line before the park closes if you want to ride It's a Small World one last time. Save Main Street for the end of the day. It stays open one hour after the park closes. Slowly walk the street on your way out, check out the window displays, eat some ice cream, and grab some last minute souvenirs. Well, all this talk about Disneyland makes us want to go right now. We hope these tips help you have a magical day at one of our favorite places on Earth. If so, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, or follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks. Uh -huh. Oh god! <laughs> Sorry. Me, 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 me. Now, now it's time to... <laughs> M-I-C... Oh, you wanted me to say that part? M-I-C... See you real soon! K... Oh, <laughs> shit!
time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E.